welcome to another review. It's been a while since the last review, um, but uh, we are reviewing uh, Soundwave by Imaginarium Art. Uh, this arrived today, um, spent the night putting it together. Uh, this is an amazing, an amazing piece. So this is such a big piece that uh, I'm shooting this on my phone as my uh, stand for, for the camera isn't large enough to actually, or isn't tall enough to actually capture this piece. And I've had to build it in place because uh, it's pretty much you know, where you built it is where it stays and you're not going to be rotating this on any um, turntable at all. Um, <clears throat> to give you an idea of size, I've uh, put a pop vinyl next to it, which is sort of the standard way to show size on this channel, uh, as pop vinyls are pretty much all, all, this, all roughly the same size, and uh, rather than comparing it to another piece that, that people may or may not have, uh, this is a standard way to actually sort of give a size re representation. So it sort of shows you how massive uh, this piece uh, is in height, in depth, and uh, you'd pretty much say that this piece in itself is a diorama. Um, although it's, you know, Soundwave is, is the main character, you have, uh, you have five cassette bots. With him, this, this is the exclusive version. If you don't have the exclusive version, then you just get uh, and you miss out on Rat Bat, or you miss out on Fancy, um, which is the, the red and black uh, small cassette bot. Um, so, so if you if we zoom in a little bit on the statue, we have laser beak. Now this is in the exclusive configuration. Uh, there are two more configurations where you can actually have laser beak resting up on the shoulder where Ratbat is, or a different arm put in place with, it, with his arm stretched out and his torso slightly leaning forward, um, which, which then has laser beak on the end of his arm. So I've got him in the exclusive configuration at the moment, I'm not going to show the other configurations as this comes in so many parts it's uh, it's not funny and it takes a long time to, uh, to put together. Um, but I'm absolutely stunned by the piece. It's the first imaginary art piece I've uh, ever seen um, and and if this is the quality of work that they uh, that they actually produced then I'd be very pleased to be an ongoing customer. Um, so this is by far the best piece in my collection and, uh, and the best piece I've ever seen uh, full stop. This includes Prime 1 Transformer pieces as well, although they're not Generation 1 pieces. Um, and I may be slightly biased as I'm a Generation 1 Transformer fan, uh, but the actual art in this uh, in this piece is, in my opinion, is way beyond uh, what's pro what Prime One have produced so far. So if we start at the base, so the base is a metallic Cybertron, and you'll see there's rust spots all through the base to give the impression of uh, of metal that's rusting. Uh, it looks looks fantastic. Um, they've really done a great job on the metal. You can see the metal here. They've made it look like it's sort of melted um, or, or been, you know, shined over time um, with, you know, weather and weathering effects. Um, you see laser beak is right at the forefront here. Um, so once again, he's got a bit of rust on him, a little bit of uh, damage, uh, but looks amazing. Um, paintwork is is very good. 
So this is a massive piece, so the amount of paintwork that would have to go in, into it would be absolutely phenomenal. And, uh, and they've done an amazing job, especially when you look at something like Ravage. Now Ravage is a black, is a jet black paint, which matches its the generation one paint requirements, but jet black paint can go, you know, can look very, uh, very cheesy, very easy, and uh, very easy to to uh, overpaint areas and, and for those areas to really stand out. And uh, they've done an amazing job with the paint on this piece. Now uh, you see, there's there's weathering effects all over um, the statue. So you come up to his arm, the sound wave. There's there's weathering and rust on the arm. You know, it looks like his arms, um, he's dirty. Um, so he's got scuff marks in, in areas as well. Um, the scuff marks are uh, <coughs> uh, really, uh, really done well. Like they don't look like they're, um, they're you know, they're, they're just they're, they're put there on on purpose type thing. They they look very um, very organic. Um, so we come down to to Frenzy. So if you don't have the exclusive package with Frenzy, then you won't get Frenzy. You'll just have Rumble in the background. Now, depending if you follow the uh, the cartoon or the uh, comics, uh, the colours of these two uh, do get swapped around. So if you used to um, the blue one being called Frenzy and and the other being called Rumble, then uh, and this is more based on the cartoon and uh, 1986 uh, feature um, animated film. So if we just move up the, the statue to where Ratbat is, now Ratbat's a, a purple. Um, there's weathering effects on his booster pack. Uh, done really well. Nice gold. Um, yeah, it looks looks fantastic. So there are light up fe features on this piece as well, being the eyes, the uh, the cassette, and around the back with the statue. They do have a booster pack. It's like a rocket or an engine of a rocket. Um, so we can actually turn that on and that's what that looks like. Now from where, where I've got this guy displayed you're never going to see that but that is um, that's a nice feature for somebody that has a 360 degree view of the, uh, of the piece. So this is, the statue uh, is roughly about 81 centimetres tall and this shelf to give you a idea is a tad over 50 centimetres deep. So it's about 53, 54 centimetres deep. Um, so it's a very deep piece. Um, the, the width is is around 45 I'm gonna I'm gonna guess um, so you do need some serious display space to display this piece um, fortunately I've got a nicely set out cabinet ready for these transformer uh, pieces uh, so I should be okay um, but it still doesn't prepare you for how large these pieces are um, as a bonus, which is something that XM has been doing, um, it actually comes with a poster. Now, I don't have uh, any means to hang this up at the moment, but that is going to stand sit behind Soundwave on the wall. So I'm hoping that they do that with the full series because that would be really nice. Uh, you also got an instruction manual on 
how to uh, assemble the statue and the different um, stances that he can be uh, that he can be placed in. So it shows you the three different um, formations. So the first one with um, laser beak on the arm, the second one with uh, rat bat, and the third one with the exclusive frenzy but uh, laser beak um, on top. So we were lucky enough to get all the options um, with uh, with frenzy and rat bat. Uh, so, so we can pose him however um, we want. I'm sure I'll change him up over time. Um, but uh, yeah, a, a phenomenal piece. Um, uh, and um, so, yeah, really looking forward to seeing uh, the following pieces in the series. Um, yeah, this um, this piece also um, the delivery driver was not impressed having to deliver something like this. Uh, the box is ginormous. Um, so, I mean, I've got um, the Prime One, uh, you know, Optimus Prime. Oh, well, that's not mine. I've, I've, um, you know, I, I took delivery of the box um, and uh, that box was large, but nothing in comparison to the size of this box. Um, it's, it was, um, it's, yeah, it's John almost it's a size of a box where you can hardly even fit it through a doorway. Um, we have to actually hold it on its side to uh, to get it through the door. Um, but uh, yeah, well worth it. Uh, well worth the effort to uh, to put it together. Um, yeah, super happy with the piece. Um, sorry if the lighting's not uh, overly good. It's a really hard piece to. Uh, to actually film being so large um, and uh, and I haven't got all my lights in this display yet just got the, the one uh, display light at the top at the moment which is a halogen which will be replaced with some LEDs in the, in the near future which is a um, that's a, uh, a, a warm um, not a warm light as in, as in heat but um, but it's a warm colour, so it's um, that's uh, which will be replaced with a uh, with more of a white uh, light going forward. It's quickly uh, showing what the uh, light up effects uh, look like in the dark. Uh, not that many people care about the light up effects, uh, but uh, yeah, fairly bright in the dark. But in light, you can't really see them. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts in the uh, in, yeah for, for this video. Um, yeah, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.